what's going on everybody it's your boy turnip and we're back in some halo wars almost 13 years after the game has launched and we've found something new uh, myself and prog devoted have discovered uh, a new glitch or a new exploit you could call it um, I haven't seen this anywhere else online so I'm assuming this is undiscovered or new but I could be wrong let me know if I'm wrong uh, but anyways, it's going to involve the tutorial, so we're going to start off by going to the tutorial, uh, the advanced tutorial, that is. Also, as a, a forewarning, this only works on controller, so you do have to be using a controller. You cannot be using mouse and keyboard for this, for this glitch to work. So you're going to boot up the advanced tutorial and just... Uh, progress through it as normal to the Halo Wars so you're going to go through the tutorial and you're going to get to the point where you get to the profit of regret so just do everything as normal up to the profit of regret and then you want to stop so once we're done here with the mac blast tutorial and the unsc we're going to be transferred over to the profit of regret Okay, so here we are. This is the point where the glitch begins. So normally what they want you to do is to use your Prophet's Cleansing Beam here to destroy these free, these three generators because the Prophet is trapped inside of this little triangle. Um, right here you'll see uh, also your camera is trapped in this small square. You can't go outside of this square here. It's a fixed camera. Um, so what you got to do to start the glitch, you have to beam down this generator here. So you beam down that generator here, and what you can do now, um, if you notice on the mini-map, there is a pink Covenant base off in the corner there. So something they forgot to do is they forgot to disable the ability of you teleporting to this base with your hotkey. Okay, now what you can do here, so if you're on mouse and keyboard, this is where you would get stuck because mouse and keyboard does not have this option. You can actually recall the profit right there. And now he's free. Local units. Okay, cool, right? And here we are on this covenant base. Um, you're supposed to come here later in the tutorial and learn about making covenant buildings and units. Um, but we're going to leave this alone because... If we mess around too much on this, we can we can soft lock ourselves. So uh, what you can do, you can build a citadel and put some buildings on it, but we're just gonna ignore that. So what we're gonna do now is take the profit right this way. And if you notice see the little red cursor, it means I, I this is considered impassable terrain by the, uh, by the tutorial standards. They don't want me to move my profit anywhere that's not in this, this fixed box. So see how I go back in here I get stuck but I can just teleport back Local unit. Um, so the prophet he's free and if we go over here to this passable terrain I like to do right at this corner here Boop. Very well. we're gonna have him start walking all the way back over and as you see they they have built no boundaries or any sort of clipping into this this part they haven't scripted it or i don't know what the terminology is but Local unit. there's no ba there's no barriers or boundaries so Local you can just units. uh send your profits straight through all of that terrain there and what Local we're gonna do units. we're gonna get them right on this mountain here and you can see where our unsc base was that we constructed earlier and we want to start beaming right as we get close to this Local base here units. i'm a little too far away but let me try it again we're going to well. start using our cleansing beam on this UNSC base. And if you do it at just the right angle, you're going to see that the, the base is starting to take damage. Okay? So you're going to just beam down this barracks here. That's probably the first thing you want to do. You're going to notice you're going to have infinite money as well. And you're going to just put your beam right close to this here. I might be able to get a better angle on that. Do a little more damage. Very well. Local units. Let's see here. Okay, so once our base is destroyed here, we're just gonna wait for this to blow up. All right, it's destroyed now. So once it's destroyed, you're gonna have to wait 25 seconds to purchase the base. And there we go, now we've started building the base. So once the base comes up here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build some supply pads. Okay, so our base is now built, so we're going to throw up some supply pads here, we're going to get some upgrades going, and we're just going to get our base fleshed out. So what we're going to do here in a few moments is we're going to complete 
the cleansing of these other two generators and it's going to allow us to progress through the mission and there's you're not supposed to at any point have these two bases at the same time so this is uh this is partially part of the exploit here i'm gonna throw up some turrets here as well just because these marines are going to become hostile eventually and if you want, you can just throw up one of each building too. You can do a factory, you can do a summit, and a hall as well. Complete. Alrighty, so now that our base is complete, you can actually start building units if you really wanted to, like an engineer, a hall, ghost, or not a hall, uh, ghosts, engineers, jackals, and some grunts. But we're not going to do that yet. We're going to take our profit, and we're going to come back over to these generators. So, kind of touching back on what the very first thing we did was so see this guy over here you'll notice as the prophet gets closer he's going to get stuck and that's going to be for everywhere he's going to get stuck so this little wall is also like a shield that he cannot enter so that's why we have to um we have to do these two separately because we can't reach back to there so we're going to delete this one here we're going to beam that one there and we can recall again local units well. And you can walk him right Very over well. here. You just point him right in that direction. And we'll just wait for him to get there. And we'll beam down our second one. Whoa! Local units. Local units. There he goes. Mountain climber, Prophet. Local okay, now that we're here, there we go. Okay, so now the game's going to ask us to build a factory. So you can see there's a few things going on right now. One, the Marines are now uh, attacking their, their enemy Marines. So that's why we build those turrets there. And also, you can see our money is no longer fixed at 1,000. So it's going to start going up because we have those uh, uh, these supply pads all around here. So now we're going to head back to our other base here. And we're going to wait until we have at least 3,000 resources. Okay, it's very important that we have at least, uh, what is it, two? Yeah, at least 3,000 resources. So we're going to build our factory. Select the temple and upgrade to the Age of Doubt. Okay, so this is the very important part. So now we need to make sure that we have at least 3,000. And we're going to click on the temple here, and you'll notice nothing else is available. We're gonna have a very, very small time window to perform uh, this glitch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to upgrade to the the final uh, tech level of the covenant uh, by spamming A once this is complete. So wait for this, and we're gonna get ready to press A. Boom. Okay, we got it. The covenant build generator. So now we're upgrading to tech three. Uh, you'll notice we can't click on this anymore. But it should upgrade in a moment here. Boom, Research. look at that. Okay, so we've got Tech 3 on the tutorial, and we're just going to keep going through as normal. So now here, what we can do is you can build Locus if you want. Um, this is the point where we're going to explore. We're going to mess around now that the glitch is pretty much completed. Uh, we're going to go back to our Covenant base here, and we're going to get some Banshees out because there's some very, very curious things that are going on in this tutorial map, and we'll take a look here. Okay, so now that we have our banshee out, we're gonna we're just gonna explore around the map here. I want to show you a few things. So over here in these areas, there's there's not really too much going on. Um, this is where you did that Mac blast earlier, and we can come all the way down through here. Um, so a little a little bit of info about chasms. This was the testing map for all things Halo Wars before the game came out. They this is like their sandbox where they put units in and tested everything. Um, but if you come over this little ridge here, you're going to find that there's this large open plane. And in it, there's going to be these enemy units. There's two locusts, a lone grunt, and a ghost alongside a few chopper corpses. Now, why are these here? I don't really know. have no idea. But I've got some assumptions. So these might just be leftover assets. They uh, they could be just something that they forgot about, like the testers. Um, but also, I, I did hear some explosions in, earlier in the tutorial. So 
it could be that those were there to those were scripted to die and um uh, they were supposed to just cause those explosion sounds give more ambiance to the to the game or whatnot but it's really cool i don't think anyone has ever found these these little hidden units over here maybe an easter egg uh, somebody on my stream called them the Guardians of Chasm. Look, there's just a lone little grunt there. Local units. Local units. But that second locust Local is actually units. gone. I don't know where he went. Local units. But it's just a cool little Easter egg here. And what I'm going to do Local now units. is save up some of my cash Local units. until we get about 6000s worth of, worth of some money. Units. Local units. So if you save up enough money and you, you know, have a little patience, you can actually train yourself. A nice juicy scarab. Look at that. Getting a, getting a scarab in the in the tutorial, everybody. And you can walk him around and uh, see where he's gonna go. And he doesn't actually have any clipping, so you can just kind of go go really wherever you want to take him. Climb up all these tall peaks and valleys here. Local units. So yeah, it's kind of kind of fun to walk him around and. See where he's gonna go. Moving. Local units. Whee. Local units. Easy enough. Just phase right through that wall there. Local units. Local units. Local units. So another cool little thing here is if you take units over here where these, uh, you know, where that Mac Blast tutorial was, if you uh, get them close to that wall like this here, you can you can actually clip to them and try to try to do your best to move them closer and closer. So there we've got some vision, and now I can see that this uh, this unit is there. I'm gonna try to get over here, and you can actually target down those units that are over there. If you get them close enough. But that's just about as far as you can go. You can't really get too much closer. I was able to clip past this wall here. But again, it's the same problem as earlier. You can't select anything. And you can't really get close enough to, to see what's over here. I am curious though. I wonder what's over in this, this shadowy corner. Uh, you can explore more of these areas too. But there's not too much else over here that I've been able to find. Local units. Seems like every, everything else is pretty pretty much normally how it is. All units. Local units. But that's gonna be just about it, everybody. I hope you like this video and uh, it's kind of crazy to find this, right? Um, let me know if this was, if you found this or if somebody else has seen this before. I don't think there has been, but who knows, right? And stay tuned for some more videos and my name is Turnip. I will catch you on the next one. Peace.